Hey guys. <laughs> Welcome back. Oh my gosh, my camera's freaking out. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. Welcome to episode five of A Day With K, my weekly vlog. So today is Saturday and it's what like now? No, it's not 10 yet. It's 9.20 p.m. I'm having a white claw. This is my second one, so. <laughs> There's just something about a watermelon white claw, y'all. There's just something about it. It's just, it's so good. So yeah, it is gonna be 10 p.m. before I know it. And I am dressed for the podcast. We're supposed to film the podcast. Devin's setting up. I just like did my part of the setup and now he's setting up the rest of it. So we're gonna film. Hopefully, you know, we don't do a super long episode because your girl is tired, okay? I've been up since seven this morning and that is very 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 unlike me it's very unlike me so i've had a long day i have filmed edited exported and uploaded all in the same day today and days like that are kind of just like boom 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 kind of fast pace so i was a little like whoa you know like a little like i was in go mode and then when i was done the whole day was gone you know so it's been one of those days, but it's fine. I have my white claw. I was supposed to be smoking a hookah right now because I'm supposed to be getting Instagram content for a hookah. My hair is so dry. I need to put some oil on this hair. Like y'all know this wig is like my throw on and go wig. Like it just looks good like to just throw it on and go, but I have not wet it. I have not put any product or anything on it recently and I just keep throwing it on. So. <laughs> Y'all, I really want this dark mark on my face to go. It is so prominent. Like, can you please exit stage left? Anyway, that's not what I that's not what I came here for. Um, so it's episode five of A Day with K. I'm really excited, even though I only have one episode up as you guys are watching this right now because I'm so behind on editing. Oh my god, we're not gonna talk about that. I'm excited. Five episodes. That means I've been filming over a month now and it's lit. So we're just gonna get right into it. This week is kind of gonna be crazy because we're gonna be back to lip gloss on monday for the first time in a very long time since you know mother's day and coming back and then gas shortage and then all this crazy stuff so it's been weeks it feels like since we've been to the office so we have some orders to work on lots and lots of orders to work on i organized all the orders the other day like i printed out all the slips organized them by what kind of order they are we have inventory coming in stuff is kind of like coming in slow a little bit but we have stuff coming in praise god so i'm just doing the best i can <laughs> i'm just doing the best that i can and we're gonna see how the week goes so monday is really the only busy day and then the rest of the week is gonna be me in front of my computer getting this content out for y'all because like i said i'm behind on editing and i also have to film a few videos as well it's gonna be a fun week this week i'm excited um after this podcast that we film i'm gonna be totally clocked out you know i'm gonna enjoy my off day tomorrow is gonna be kind of like an off day for me to kind of regroup refocus relax <laughs> so i don't think tomorrow is going to be anything super crazy super eventful because i'm really exhausted from this past week that just passed so yep i'm planning on some self-care tomorrow maybe i'll do a face mask yeah maybe we'll do our teamy face mask tomorrow and you know drink some tea or some some wine or some white claw or some margaritas or something i don't know we'll see but definitely some self-care tomorrow and i want to crochet y'all my room is a mess let me show y'all <laughs> let me show y'all i'm not even ashamed anymore so my room is a mess right um <laughs> i mean because i just took out all this yarn because i'm inspired to do this project and it requires like a lot of random different colors so i want to start the project but i don't know it's like i have to follow a pattern low-key because i don't know what i'm doing and so i don't know i just i have to go get the pattern for one so i had to get the pattern and then start and i gotta make sure i have all the right materials and the right hooks and stuff i don't know it's just like what i had to i paused on crochet order it's like it's just now like back open again um for like my crop tops and stuff because that stuff does not stay stocked up all the time like a girl cannot just be out here getting a lot of crochet orders coming in because then i'm gonna be overwhelmed so i just opened everything back up but i have not actually picked up a crochet hook 
in a couple weeks so i'm like itching to like do something cool so there's this um blanket and it's like a granny square blanket but it's really cool like how she like puts it all together it's kind of like it's just it's a lot of stuff that i just don't know i'm like what it just looks so cute and i want to make it exactly like how she made it so i'm gonna follow a pattern y'all know i love following patterns and i'm also a pattern tester so yeah that's really that's really why I want to do it because I'm a pattern tester and reading patterns is not like the easiest thing to do you would think having all the step by step is like easy but sometimes patterns can be really confusing so I haven't um done a pattern in a while I think I actually have a pattern test coming up and that's what got me into yeah that was the snowball so I have a pattern test coming up then I started to look at more patterns as I was like trying to make sure I had the materials and everything for that pattern and now I want to do a whole separate project too like a personal project so I'm gonna be crocheting sooner rather than later I just keep looking at this yarn like I have so much yarn around my house and the project that I want to do it's gonna be a great way for me to get rid of all these excess balls of yarn that I have like all these random colors and everything it's just gonna be a good way to get rid of what they like to call scraps these are not really scraps because a lot of these are brand new balls but I just haven't used them for anything and it's like I have one of these one of this one, two of that one, three of this one, one of this one, one of that one. So I'm like, look, I need to use this for a project that's going to make sense. So this is going to be the perfect project. If I actually go forward with it, which I think I am, I will keep you guys in the loop. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, guys, that's my intro. This week is crazy. Honestly, every week is crazy. But we're just doing what we can over here. I launched the pre-order for my second digital book today so what's the tea on branding that's the next digital book that i'm putting out and the pre-order went up today so i was all wrapped up in that earlier this morning and i'm just like oh there's so many things happening ah my mentorship program is live second digital book pre-order is live there's just a lot of stuff going on people are still purchasing the secret sauce i love y'all so much for purchasing the secret sauce so many people have ordered it i am amazed okay so now i'm getting emails at 9 30 it's mm -mm, it's 9 30. don't email me about work at 9 30. anyway <laughs> people are still purchasing the secret sauce and i'm still honestly you guys i'm still trying to come up with some different ways i can promote the secret sauce so i'm going to be trying to do some different kind of content for that but um yeah in general new content i'm trying to plan new content and execute new content but i'm feeling like i'm at a point where i just i'm i'm tired i want to go to sleep you know i want to take a break but i can't take a break right now it's just not it's just not time for a break <laughs> it's just not time look y'all can tell i'm stressed out look at my nails look at my nails Y'all can tell that I have not been paying attention to anything except work. Like, I have let my nails go. My toes actually look good because I've been painting my own toes. And I've been painting my toes nude. So my toes look good. And you can't even tell when they start looking bad because of the color. The nude is, like, so close to my skin tone. So I've been rocking that. Y'all know I used to love a white toe. I cannot wait until I can just, like, put myself on the schedule. This is going to be the day that you're going to go get your nails done, go get your toes done. I'm not there yet. I'm really I'm just not there as long as everything is done around here I'm ready to just lay in my bed that's it that's my self-care I'm ready to just lay down okay but yeah I'm about to go because I will sit here and talk to y'all forever but I'm gonna go we're gonna film the podcast y'all already know what the setup looks like I was about to say oh let me come show you the setup y'all know what the setup looks like okay it's a podcast that's what we're gonna do it's 9 30 all right y'all I'll talk to y'all probably tomorrow because by the time this is done wig is coming off clothes are coming off y'all i've been in my christmas pajamas all day today in my <laughs> pajamas that we wore with our matching outfit i had the whole of oh, the shirts over there y'all saw the shirt over there when i was showing y'all the yarn but i had the pants and the shirt on today chilling working in the house but living my best life with my christmas pajamas on and so cozy they're from hanes i think so they're really soft and comfortable so all of this is coming out look somebody done made a purchase $15 that's probably the pre-order Devin we just got a pre-order what's the tea on branding pre-order for $15 by the time y'all see this video I don't even know if the book is out or not if it's out that means it's $25 still go get it great investment for your business okay so I'll see y'all tomorrow 
Good morning. I'm so happy. Chipotle. Chipotle usually always fails me, you guys. Okay, they forget my guac. They forget my salad dressing. I'm like, look, today is not the day to mess with me, okay? I need my order to be correct. Here's my appearance this morning, okay? No shame in my game. I have been up for maybe like three hours. It's 11.39 right now, so I've been up since like 9 a.m., emails you know the regular the regular program okay emails for actually longer than i expected this morning i had to send out some mentorship emails because we're getting to the time when my mentorship is going to start so i had to send some emails out so i did that my podcast is up okay it's posted no it's not posted it's uploaded it's ready description's done thumbnail is done i uploaded the audio last night once we got done today is sunday visuals go up at 5 p.m they're already up and ready and scheduled and everything so today i'm basically focusing on posting on social media i'm gonna be checking my emails frequently and then today is like my off day so i'm not really I'm not really doing too much today. Okay, so I got enough food for now and later, so I'm not gonna have to leave my house. I just really need to relax and kind of like regroup. I think I'm gonna do that self-care that we talked about later on. But for right now, I'm about to eat my Chipotle because y'all, I'm so hungry right now. I'm so hungry right now and I have not had Chipotle in a long time because they always making me mad and I always be having to go off on somebody. So I just stopped ordering. And they know that I stopped ordering. They're trying to get me back. They're all emailing me and sending me free guac and all this stuff on the app. Like, oh, you got a reward for free guac. How I get a reward when I haven't shopped with y'all in about a month? Y'all know you get points. You rack up points and everything. They just giving me random free stuff because I haven't been there in a long time. So today I was just like, you know what? I don't want any like fried food or anything crazy. So Chipotle for the win. And I'm about to tear this boot up. So I get a kid's meal. So I get a kid's quesadilla. And it comes with rice and beans. And then a kid's chip. And then also a drink. So I just get these little organic apple juices. Because they either come with apple juice or milk. And I'm not a milk person. And why would I drink milk with this? No. And then I get a salad. So I eat the kid's meal first. It's kind of like my my lunch my appetizer it kind of holds me for a good amount of time and then the salad is like my actual dinner i got the free guac and i got two salad dressings because i never understand why we get these big ass cups and then y'all don't fill them all the way up to the top imagine how much plastic we could save if y'all would just fill this shit up to the top because literally i would just need one if this was full so yeah chipotle very wasteful 10 out of 10 don't recommend but this little drop of dressing that's not even halfway full in the container is not enough for me so i have to get two i don't even think two of these equals one container so yeah if they would just fill this all the way up they would be golden but i'm gonna just mind the business that pays me so i'm about to eat real quick i'm gonna start with the kids meal like i said also let me just say chipotle didn't just get it right okay i had called them because now when I, whenever I order online, I have to call and be like, can you please put two salad dressings in the bag? Because either they won't send it or they'll send one. Either way, it does not work for me. So I now have to call if I want to ensure that I'm going to be happy once my food arrives. And this food came so fast. I'm like, I literally just ordered this and it's here. <laughs> like someone's calling the gate. I'm like... Let me say hello before I let them in because who is this? Because I knew Devin is not supposed to be back right now. So I'm like, that's definitely not Devin. So let me say hello before I open the gate. <laughs> I'm in heaven right now. And it's so early. So yeah. Y'all really did not have room to be messing up. Nobody order. Y'all just open. Mm -mm. All right, y'all. I'm going to eat and then I'm going back to my bed. <laughs> So it's 8 20 p.m. right now i just made myself some tea is this ratchet is this ghetto how do y'all make y'all tea like what do y'all cover y'all mugs with like i i don't have a solution i use just a pot lid um when i use a regular mug and not my actual tumblers i am having vanilla chai if it'll focus I don't really have another hand to offer camera. This is the Bigelow vanilla chai and it's so good. I used two tea bags. Y'all already know how I do. 
two tea bags at a time. So I don't know, I just felt like having something sweet, cinnamony, and warm. So I made some tea. So I'm just letting my tea steep. Unfortunately, this is, you know, how I've been looking all day. I mean, not unfortunately, cause I'm not mad about it. Like I already knew I was gonna be on chill mode today i got my candle going right now i got my bath and body works stress relief going that's the candle that i like to burn in my room and i'm watching static john and katie on youtube they're talking oh and i started to crochet so this is what my bed is looking like i decided that i'm gonna make a passion project i'm not gonna tell y'all what it is just yet but um i have this pink this gray and then this purple color y'all already know i have a work in progress somewhere here it is so i've been working on this and it's actually like multiple squares that i have to make like a lot of freaking squares i have all my stuff here i have my notes here my measuring tape and then i have made it through five squares so far so i kind of had to like figure out what i wanted to do and then do all the measurements and everything and then execute um i'm hoping it goes well honestly i haven't made a new garment in a while so there's a little hint it is a garment but yeah i haven't made a new garment in a while so i haven't been through the process of like challenging myself creatively in a minute with crochet so it was kind of you know refreshing sometimes i just get that urge like i want to make something because i have to satisfy that part of my creative brain too every now and again so i was like yep i haven't done this in a while i need to go ahead and try something new so i'm working on it and i don't know it's been fun i don't know how much i'm gonna get done today because it's kind of a big project like a lot of squares that i have to make and not that it's taking me a long time to make the squares, but it's taking me a decent amount just to make one. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, but like I said, it's what, yeah, it's 824. So I'm just gonna be here with my YouTube, honestly, like YouTube and my crochet. I am back to lip gloss tomorrow, but I kind of already have everything pretty much planned out. So it should be a smooth day. Honestly, I'm not worried about it. Sometimes the lip gloss days can be very overwhelming, but tomorrow should be a smooth day. And I'm not trying to be overwhelmed. I'm like, I know this is our first day back, but I don't want to be overwhelmed. I just want us to do what we got to do and be done. So that's what we're going to do. I can't wait to drink my tea. Oh my gosh. Um, I just wanted to update y'all because I haven't vlogged in a minute today because I've been watching vlogs and then I've been crocheting and then I just lost track of time. That's what happens when you sit here for hours doing this. You lose track of time. I've been on the computer. Oh, I set up my creator donation page today. Y'all, there's a lot of people that be like, I wanna support you, but I don't wear lip gloss or makeup. Like, I don't wanna waste your product. So I don't wanna, you know, buy anything from your website. What's your cash app? And I'm like, oh my God, I do not want y'all cash apping me okay but if you just feel so moved to support me i will gladly accept the support but i have created a professional donation page for people like that that want to support me and my journey and my businesses and my youtube channel so i will have the link to my new donation page down below i actually think it's pretty freaking cute okay i spent a little bit of time doing that earlier because i saw one of my favorite creators she had it in her description box and so I was like, oh, I can start my own page. I've seen a lot of creators do that. There's a lot of people that just want to support you. They don't want to buy anything. They don't want to waste your inventory. If they know they're not going to use it, they'd be like, no, someone else can buy that. It's okay. Because I'm always the type of person like, I don't want people to give me money. Like, I want you to like buy something. I'm that kind of person. I'm like, please just buy something so I can, you know, send you something back. I don't know. And people are like, no i don't really want that and i'm like okay so my donation page is set up if you guys want to support me it is down below in the description box what else did i do today oh we uploaded the podcast the podcast is having some issues we don't know what's wrong with it so the visuals went up and then i had to take them down because something was happening we just don't know what the heck happened so yeah Devin had to run to his shoot so we didn't really have time to figure it out and I'm like yeah just go to your shoot we got the audio up it's cool I'm glad that I posted another video yesterday so that kind of you know it balances out at least I got a video up because I'm behind on editing and I'm like I don't want to skip an upload so I always know that the podcast is like the upload that I know we won't skip but I'm glad that 
issues happen on the week that I actually had another video up. So that's my life right now. Totally fine. I'm great. I'm having a great time crocheting and it's very much satisfying to see everything growing as fast as it is. So these are my three colors that I'm working with and I have a lot of freaking squares to make. But I'm just gonna take my time with it. Like I'm not in a rush or anything. I'm just gonna do what I can. I'm about to finish watching John and Katie and then I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna watch next. I think 911 comes on tomorrow and I'm freaking excited because I'm ready for this next episode because the way they left me hanging, the way they left me hanging, I just, yeah, we already talked about this. I'm still mad about it, but I'm ready for the new episode. So I'll check in with you guys um, probably later or tomorrow, we'll see. cozy like I just been living in my tube top and this little mesh throwover um, this is from pink I think yeah it's from pink so I just been sipping on my tea it's actually making me really freaking hot can y'all see all the drinks that I have over here I got my water I got my sparkling water I got my tea I got a wig over there whatever that's just I've been living in this spot today but I'm so happy I got four purple squares done so far so I did one I started off the project with one square in each color so that's why I still have one pink and one gray but then I knew I was like oh maybe I'll just work all in one color to get like all the squares done because I have to make equal amounts of squares in each color so I'm like maybe I'll just do like one color at a time I don't know we'll see how it goes and I might end up switching it up just to like not get bored with it you know because it's very repetitive but so far so good I'm not feeling super tired or super burnt out or anything I just feel like I need to take a little break um and enjoy my tea also my phone is going off so i need to respond y'all i have to have this pillow this back pillow is freaking huge i got this pillow from amazon it is literally perfect for cozy vibes um and it even has like little pockets on the side right here so you can like put your phone right here so i can like keep my phone there if i wanted to it's just really comfortable and it helps with my back when i'm crocheting even when i'm not crocheting if i'm like sitting on my computer i still like to sit with this pillow i will have this pillow linked down below for you guys because if y'all do anything where y'all have to sit up all the time it just really helps your back and it also comes with the little neck piece so if y'all saw my camper routine i'll link it down below but i did a video i was in the bath and i had this pillow it came with this it wasn't a bath pillow it came with this pillow <laughs> um but it's for your neck uh so yeah it does come with that as well so i'll just have i'll just have it all linked down below but i just wanted to share that i got this freaking pillow i'm comfy i'm cozy my tea is good i haven't had that tea in a minute almost forgot what it tasted like it is now 8:58, so i'm steady just watching youtube videos i don't know when Whenever I run out of things to watch, then I'm gonna probably head over to Netflix or head over to Hulu or something and find something else to watch. All right, y'all, so it's 11, 17 right now, and I'm at a stopping point for the evening. So I did eight purple squares, and then I have these two squares. So 10 total squares, I'm not mad at my progress for today, and I probably won't work on it tomorrow because tomorrow's a lip gloss day. So I will probably pick up with this on Tuesday, but. I'm feeling good. I'm excited about this passion project that I decided to take on. And I literally turned on Married at First Sight and I'm laughing so hard at this. I just love it. It's just so entertaining. And I'm also sitting here looking at my room like I really wanna rearrange my room. And I feel crazy because I wanna do it right now but I know I'm not gonna be able to do it by myself. And I hate when that happens. Like I hate when I wanna do something and I can't do it. Like. 
I've been saying that I wanted to move my dresser and put it on this wall right here. But literally, I think that I want to rearrange my whole idea. Like, I have this whole other idea and I want to execute it and I want to do it now. And I can't do it now because I don't think I'm going to be able to drag all this stuff by myself. Because I'll have to move the TV. I mean, I could probably drag the TV in the TV stand, but I would have to move my bed too. So I would have to move stuff out of the room to give me space to like move stuff. So I'm going to have to get Devin to help me. And he's going to be looking at me like I'm crazy. But I just, I just want to move some stuff. I don't know. I just don't, I don't like my setup anymore. Um, I just, I don't know. I just want to change it. So <laughs> just gonna do it honestly and i think it'll be more functional because i'll have more space on this side of the room because i just feel like right now if i wanted to take an outfit picture i really don't have a place to do that so i will have more open space here more space here and i'll just have i just i don't know i feel like it'll be more open and more functional it'll make more sense so yeah so yeah i'm just sitting here like okay corey just relax and lay down like don't be out here trying to do all this crazy stuff but i feel like i'm about to at least start moving stuff out of here i don't know devin's gonna come back from his shoot like girl you are so crazy i don't know i just i want to change when i want change i have to do it so yeah good night y'all i'm gonna just say good night we'll see what happens if i rearrange this room i would be very surprised if i'm able to like drag some stuff i mean the dresser i was able to actually like get it out of the box by myself and get all the wrapping and stuff off of it by myself so i'm pretty sure i could probably just drag it but there's nowhere for me to drag it right now so i need to clean i need to move some stuff out the way and then get to this project this is another passion project get my room set up how i want it to be set up okay y'all are like why am i looking at these crochet squares because i'm looking crazy i done kind of took off all of the clothes and everything so y'all don't want to see me right now but i'll catch up with y'all tomorrow i'm gonna, I'm gonna check in with y'all tomorrow so i have rearranged my room ignore my purple pillow it's purple because of my freaking hair i moved all this stuff out here so I'm gonna have to organize, but I just ordered some food. Oh my God, it's just like, my mouth is watering. It's 1 a.m. right now. I was so hungry, cause all I had today was that Chipotle. And I ate the rest of that. Like I ate my salad at like five or six. So you can imagine how hungry I am right now. So now I'm having breakfast. <laughs> good morning happy monday y'all i have not felt this good on a monday in a very long time i can't even lie about that i'm in a good mood i didn't check a lot of stuff off of my list of personal goals this morning i pretty much did everything that i was supposed to do that's insane except for i didn't take another shower because i ended up taking a shower at like two this morning after i decided that i wanted to move all of my things yeah <laughs> rearranged my whole room then i took a shower because i was sweating moving all that stuff so yeah i didn't take another shower this morning when i got up because i'm all fresh and clean and everything but all of my other personal goals like i told y'all i'm trying to like get into a new healthy routine and i just literally just made a list so i'm just going down the list and it's a matter of me doing it every single day in order to form healthy habits so i'm feeling really accomplished today orders have been coming in like crazy this morning i don't know what today is but <laughs> i am so grateful i'm like okay y'all i have one very disrespectful camera battery that never tells me when it's dying it just simply cuts off like in the middle of me talking the camera just cuts off and it says charge the battery and i'm like can you at least show me the little the little icon the battery icon like please anyway like i was saying um the lord is showing me all the signs this morning i got up i did my affirmations i did some sunday service i stretched i have taken all my vitamins my supplements i have eaten breakfast y'all it's only like 10 20 in the morning like who is she i have stretched i've sat on my floor now that i have all this carpet space since I moved my bed around. I sat on the floor and stretched, y'all. I done been listening to my music. I done been on social media. I haven't checked my email yet. I'm not gonna do that until I get to the office because that's just the kind of day I'm having today. I'm not gonna look until I get to the office. <laughs> Check my social media. Oh my God, so this battery is dying too. Great. Today is not a great day for vlogging, I guess. <laughs> I know for a fact I have two charged batteries. So I have two charged ones and two dead ones, apparently. 
anyway i just wanted to come on here and say good morning it's a great day it's off to a great start i'm about to get ready to head out and go to the office my mom's gonna meet me there i'm gonna see if she wants to go grab lunch today because we kind of haven't like seen each other in a while i feel like since this whole gas thing we haven't seen each other so yeah we need to go catch up and have lunch even though we talk every single day we still need to catch up and have lunch so i'm gonna see if she wants to go to lunch we're gonna get orders done then i'm gonna come home and i'm gonna keep watching married at first sight <laughs> I'm gonna tap into some real relaxation today. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey y'all, so it's 12.45 now, so I'm at the office. As you can see, all right, we are at Smudge Cosmetics. Okay, that's where we at. So I just got to a point where I'm taking a break because I've been here for a little minute. Look, I done drank all my tea already. I don't even think I showed y'all my tea. Did I show y'all my tea? I don't think I showed y'all my tea because I've been making a TikTok because um, I'm doing like a little day in my life today for a tiktok so i know that my tea is on tiktok but i don't think i put my tea on the vlog anyway i got my tea i got my water so now that my tea is done i'm about to start drinking this i've already been drinking water today like i drank water earlier today when i was at home but i just filled up my jug because i don't know how long we're gonna be here we don't have water bottles here we just like bring our own bottles so this is what i use so yeah i'm like girl fill up the jug i don't know if i'm finished the jug today y'all know how i am about that but i'm trying i'm trying to get back into the swing of things here so i just wanted to check in with y'all my mom is almost here we're gonna go have lunch and kind of catch up like i told y'all before and then we're gonna come back and work on orders but i have literally prepped everything already let me show you let me show you what i did okay so all the orders are ready okay they're like all laid out with their packing slips and any containers tubes or anything that the orders need is already with them some of these orders are already done because I was able to go ahead and fill them up but some of them are not ready most of them are not ready because we haven't been here so we are starting from absolute absolute scratch today um, so yeah I filled up a couple things got it ready now we're gonna go have lunch and then when we get back we're gonna go ahead and knock out as much as we can knock out I have some retail orders right here so those will be really quick and easy to do so that'll get you know that nice little batch out right there some sample orders so this one's a sample order this one's a sample order this one's a sample order so we got some sample bundles oh y'all the phone just started ringing I thought it was my mama it was Devin okay like I was saying Y'all, please ignore the fact that it's still Christmas at my office. It's just going to be Christmas year around here, okay? Because by the time we take it down, it's going to be time to put it right back up. Anyways, so yeah, we like to work like this because it's just easier. All the orders are together in their box. They have their packing slip. They have all the materials that they need. If it's a kit, it has the empty tubes. It has the syringes. It has the pipettes already in the box. Like, it just makes it easier. So as you can see in this box, I have all kinds of stuff in here. So this customer ordered three squeeze tube kits. With the squeeze tube kit, you get two containers. So she ordered three, so she has six containers. She has six syringes. She has 30 pipettes, because each kit comes with 10 pipettes. And then she also ordered a sample bundle. So I put her sample containers, one, two, three, four, five sample containers in here. She ordered a five sample bundle. So this is just kind of how we keep ourselves organized because we have so many orders and we don't want to constantly have to be reaching into boxes for the syringes, for the containers. We just want to rock and roll, you know? So this just makes it a lot quicker and more efficient for us to work this way. So that is what I've been spending my time doing, counting empty tubes, putting them in bags if they weren't already in bags. Cause a lot of them, we already have them like pre-bagged with the stoppers and everything. So that just makes it a lot quicker, but we haven't gotten all of them done yet so um i was counting out tubes counting out pipettes we used to have like the pipettes already pre-counted too but i haven't done that in a while so maybe we'll start doing that again too so that that'll be a quicker process and then you know i'm putting labels on stuff and just organizing all the orders that's what i've been doing for the past hour and we haven't been here in a while like i said it's been way longer than normal okay like we are not used to not being here i have some more orders that i need to print out because orders have been coming in today we just like to lay everything out and see everything because sometimes people order the same thing it's really easy when people order the exact same thing to just fill up two things of that same thing at the same time you know oh my phone is ringing again all right y'all let me go we are at frontera mex mex grill frontera oh we gotta help ourselves outside y'all ratchet y'all okay. ratchet but we gonna crank that thing up though don't think we not don't think that we not gonna crank it up it has been cranked 
Thank you. You sit down. Yes. Oh. Absolutely. Absolutely. Get my menu together. Y'all know we gotta keep. Y'all know we gotta keep our get sucker hand sandy on deck. Okay. Don't sleep on this. Keep this in your purse, in your car, everywhere you go. Oh, yeah, bring us some salsa, some chips and stuff. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. This right here, this right here, this chunky salsa right here. Don't sleep on that. Don't sleep on that either. Ooh, y'all know I love me a quesadilla. Margarita. Yum. I am stressed. So. This is what happens in real life when you are a business owner and you are constantly ordering inventory. I have been telling y'all that we have been getting inventory in all week. Why did I get inventory in that was completely damaged? Like whole shipment damaged. Whole entire shipment damaged. This is from a vendor that I have been working with early on since like right when I started doing wholesale. That's when I started trying this vendor. So I've been with this vendor my whole wholesale experience <laughs> i've been with the same vendor i have never had an issue where a whole shipment is like destroyed like yes things happen a few things might be damaged a few pieces might be damaged whatever but a whole entire shipment damaged like i could have screamed i promise you i wanted to rip my edges out because it's just so irritating when you pay so much money for something you're trying to provide a quality product for your customers and you wait for something to come and then it's damaged and if y'all have your own business y'all know that people over in china they do not like providing refunds okay so they want to just send you more product they want to take money off the next time you order or they want to send you you know replacement the next time you order they want you to keep spending money because that shipping is so expensive they're not just going to ship me a replacement for free so i'm sitting here like i have messaged my vendor i'm so loyal to this person like there's i just i've never had this issue so i don't know what's gonna happen i don't know what they're gonna say i don't know like i just don't know what's happening right now but i just wanted to tell y'all that the day completely went left that's why i have not picked up the camera again since we came back we powered through, I got a decent batch of orders done. They are now in this bag over here. So we put orders inside of trash bags to transport them because it's usually a lot and it's heavy. So it's just easier to put them in bags. So it's like almost 8 p.m. right now. So I am about to go to Kroger because I just, I'm, I'm pretty much gonna be in my house for the next few days. I think we'll have to come back up here I think I have to run back up here tomorrow to do something really quick, but I'm gonna be in my house for the most part for the rest of the week and I don't have any groceries or anything. And y'all, at this point, I need a bottle of wine. So I'm about to go get me a bottle of wine. <laughs> I'm like, I'm about to go get me a bottle of wine so I can unwind. I need to make content when I get home, which is crazy. I have to make hookah content tonight to post, which is insane. So yeah, and then I need to finish the reel that I started, the TikTok that I started. So I'm about to have my hookah, my wine, my dinner, and my married at first sight, the wedding episode. Okay, so I'm excited to see the wedding. <laughs> I'm excited. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna get for dinner. I'm trying to think about it. I don't know what I want for dinner. Cause we had Mexican earlier, like I showed y'all, but I don't know. Y'all know me, wings and Mexican any day, but I will check in in a few minutes like i said later when i get to the store maybe sometimes i get overwhelmed when i'm trying to make a tiktok and vlog at the same time but we'll see what happens when i get to the store not the white castle sliders the frozen ones y'all comment down below if y'all know what white castle is let's see who who i got in my squad right now okay successful trip to kroger got more than what i needed <laughs> y'all cannot tell me that this is not a vibe okay i got my string lights on i got my wine i done took my shower and everything i got my candle burning okay listen i'm about to get in my bed and we already know what time it is it's time to laugh married at first sight the wedding episode and y'all i completely skipped the hookah tonight like i just can't 
I just can't. So we're gonna smoke hookah tomorrow. Cause right now, me and my wine are just fine, okay? And I have an hour and 22 minute long episodes of this to watch. So I'm gonna be up for a while, okay? I'm trying to get to the married part. Listen, they're gonna, they're not gonna do all the weddings in one episode. So I'm gonna have to watch two episodes and then I wanna see this honeymoon. So we'll see how many episodes I can get through. Cause it's already 10.42. I'm contacting um, my vendor. My vendor is talking to me right now because obviously this is the time that they are up and working. I'm like, yeah, I can't really chat right now because they're just asking me like for even more pictures and more like videos and stuff. And I'm like, sis, I'm not at the office anymore. So I'll hit you tomorrow. Anywho, let's get into these weddings. My room is such a vibe, I can't. Good afternoon. Today is Wednesday. I just made me some lunch. It is 3.26 p.m. y'all. This is my first meal of the day. I have been glued to my computer this morning. Oh my God. I just wanted to show y'all this because I just, oh, I can't wait to eat this. So these are the fried shrimp I got from Kroger. These are the curly fries I got from Kroger. So we're about to test out these curly fries. I already know the shrimp are gonna be good. I just made them in the air fryer. So I'm about to eat, I'm hungry, first meal of the day. Not good at all, not off to a good start, but I'm about to I'm about to finish the race strong, okay? I'm about to take all my supplements, my vitamins, drink some tea, drink my vitamin C, everything. I'm still gonna get everything in, even though I'm getting such a late start. Who y'all, okay, I'm alive. It is 8.56 p.m. I just got done filming. I did a business update and also I had to do a collaboration, a segment about Lilova period underwear. So I went ahead and did that. Y'all, my period is trying to take me out and I promise y'all I'm trying to smile my way through it and it's not working, okay? Your girl is in pain, okay? So I'm about to grab my heating pad, honestly. Well, first I'm about to take a shower I'm gonna shower, I'm going to make some tea cause I have not had tea today cause my day has just been all upside down. Um, I don't even remember, what's the last thing I vlogged? I think I showed y'all my food, but I've been sitting on my computer today cause I've been working on my vendors list. So I finished that and also my influencer program, I had to send out some emails and I had to promote that. So I've just kind of been like really working hard today on my computer and I did not eat on time y'all that was like three o'clock that I had my first meal so when I first got up I did not like make my tea or anything I just got straight on my computer which is not how life is supposed to go okay I just was like girl you had one good day on Monday kicked Monday's ass and did a great job and then fell off for the rest of the week. So tomorrow I'm just praying I'm able to get back into the swing of things. But I'm still gonna have my tea today cause it's gonna make my stomach feel better. Okay, I'm gonna have my tea. Um, I need to take my supplements and everything. I think I'm going to work on my crocheting tonight because I don't need to be on my computer anymore. I'm like, I'm not about to edit this video I just filmed. And I don't think it's gonna get edited tomorrow either because I'm gonna be in the office tomorrow working on orders. So I don't know when I'm gonna get to editing. It probably won't be until Saturday because Friday my cousin is supposed to be in town from New Jersey and I'm supposed to meet her for lunch so that we can kind of catch up and everything. So yeah, I just have a lot of stuff going on. I'm gonna relax. And I don't know exactly what I'm about to eat for dinner because I just don't feel like cooking. Y'all, I'm about to start with this new um, meal meal service. Like they meal prep for you. They cook the food for you and it just comes delivered, fresh, cooked, everything. And you just have to reheat it. I'm about to start doing that for real because I've been saying that and I played myself because I never ordered the food. So I just feel like that's going to be so much easier and more cost effective for me because I just be spending money on stuff that I think I want to eat and then the day comes and I just don't want to eat it. And honestly, that's just really sad. I'm feeling really productive, but I'm feeling really exhausted. That's also, you know, another thing, your period, it'd be trying to give you all this fatigue and stuff. I'm like, sis, I have stuff to do <laughs> i cannot be man down right now okay i have to be feeling like my best self right now but it's totally fine 
is totally fine because I'm gonna be fine. I have one more clip that I need to get for this video, which is the actual clip of me wearing the underwear. I have them on right now, but I need to bring my tripod down so that I can actually get this clip. So I don't know what the rest of my night looks like, y'all. I don't know if I'm gonna do another check-in or not do another check-in, but I'm feeling like I'm about to hop on YouTube and see what my YouTube fam is posting on YouTube so that I can be entertained for a little bit or am I going to end up back on Married at First Sight? Y'all, that show, it's just, it's, it's so funny. Like, just the experiment itself, I just cannot. We'll see how the night goes. Let me stop rambling so I can get this last clip so that I can get my shower so that I can get my life together, okay? Good morning. Today is Thursday. Tipsy Thursday. Who is this calling me? I don't know who that is calling me. Wow. Yeah, I look tired. I am tired, y'all. It's 9.52. I woke up at 8 a.m. I don't know why. I just, I don't know why. I think it's my period. Sometimes I literally have insomnia when I'm on my period. I don't know. It's just like, it's a rough time, honestly. Um, so yeah, today is like the first day that we're going and flowing with this. So this is pretty much going to be my, my vibe for today. I'm trying to have a good day cause I just, I just want to be positive, but I'm not feeling it, but it's okay. Um, we have to go to the office because we have orders that need to be done. So <laughs> We're gonna go to the office the inventory that we were waiting for and is here so i have some boxes that i need to take to my car then i need to go to my actual mailbox because i have something in there my mom is bringing stuff from her house so yeah i just i have inventory going to different places only because of the fact that i live on the third floor so we don't ever get base delivered here because i'm not going to be able to carry 30 pounds down three flights of stairs and then through the parking lot to get to my car so we always still um get the base sent to my parents house so she's bringing base <laughs> i'm bringing containers glitter whatever else and then i had just ordered some more stuff yesterday so yeah because it's like almost the first of the month it's the 27th so usually at the end of the month we're kind of like restocking for the beginning of the month so yeah we got stuff on the way today's tipsy thursday so i don't know i just i hate when tipsy thursday is like the first day of my period like the first actual actual day like <sighs> I just can't indulge like how I want to, you know? So I don't know how the day's gonna go. I'm not feeling like my worst right now, but I just feel it coming over me, you know? So we'll see what happens. But today is just a normal, regular Thursday for me, y'all. Office, hopefully we're not gonna be there for too long. Um, Cause I know my mom has stuff to do. I also have stuff to do. Like I told y'all yesterday, I need to get this other video filmed for the vendors list and I need to edit the business update. So I'm trying to see if we'll be able to kind of like rock out really fast today so that I can come home and do something else. <laughs> Did I tell y'all about this meal service? So I was looking at a meal service because I'm just kind of like over the whole grocery shopping and over the whole cooking and stuff like that. And I'm supposed to be eating clean, you know, like I want to have a healthier diet. I'm supposed to be eating food that's going to fuel my body. Like I'm supposed to be eating a high protein diet and I'm just not doing what i need to do because i'm not a nutritionist okay so i don't freaking know like what to do i've been trying and i've been telling y'all about this and i'm just like look i quit okay some battles you just have to bow out gracefully like you are not going to be able to win every single one okay and i'm fine with that so this is just a battle that i just am choosing not to fight so i just want the food to be ready for me to eat it like right now it's 10 in the morning and what am i about to do i don't even know what i'm about to eat honestly like i'm hungry yes but i don't know what i'm about to eat because i have to go <laughs> like <laughs> i have to go like i'm dressed i have to pack my stuff and i have to go so what am i about to eat i don't know but the meals i ordered the meals last night so i don't think i told y'all that because i think i might have did it after i stopped vlogging but i ordered 
five meals from this meal service that is local in Atlanta so I'm going to be keeping you guys posted because I'm actually supposed to be working with them um and I was just like yeah let me go ahead and try the food to make sure that I actually like it make sure that it's gonna fit my lifestyle it does fit my budget because I just really had to think about like the two-step process of going to get groceries and then coming home to cook everything like that's that's a that's a long process okay <laughs> like and the money spent at the grocery store and then it's just hard to portion because it's just me so that's why i'm like look i will spend the money okay um it's not super expensive it's kind of like normal for me like if i go out somewhere like ordering my wings and stuff like ordering my combos it's like the same price so i'm like it's good fresh food it's healthy and i can see all of the nutrition facts on the website um as far as how much protein how many carbs and everything so i'm excited to try the meals i went ahead and ordered it i knew they were going to be delivered today and i was a little bit skeptical because i know i'm going to be at the office but they said between 2 p.m and 10 p.m so i'm like okay hopefully like me and my mom are not at the office all day all i know is that when i come home i'm gonna have food on my doorstep okay i'm not gonna have to come home and cook anything tonight because i already know that i'm not gonna feel like it y'all my phone is going crazy right now someone just commented on my lip gloss something some lip gloss that i posted and they said beautiful are they clear or pigmented what y'all i don't be understanding the kind of questions that y'all be asking about lip gloss honestly and truly are they clear or are they pigmented girl that is a red lip gloss in the picture i'm gonna mind my business <laughs> I'm gonna mind my business y'all but let me get off of here and stop rambling I need to go figure out if I'm gonna eat something right now if I'm not gonna eat something right now I need to call my mom because sometimes we'll do lunch together so I just really need some tea I need something warm in my stomach right now <laughs> all right y'all so I have collected my life I got my Apple watch on for the first time in a while okay Apple watch y'all I don't even really know how to use this thing like I just I I mean I think I originally got it so that I could be a little bit more discreet responding to my messages like when I was at work and stuff that was when I was still in college like ridiculous but <laughs> um yeah I just want to use it like for my own benefit like my um my health tracking fitness tracking whatever y'all know I'm trying to I'm trying to do some things so I packed my lunch this is my little lunch bag. I got this on Amazon. I got me and my mom some lunch bags. Mine is pink and hers, well, it's like more of like a corally, peachy color. Um, my mom's is like mint, I think, cause she likes that whole mint green. Um, but I really like this lunch bag because it's a pretty decent size. So I have my container in here, cause I just made some tuna. So I have my container in here, I have my crackers in here, and then I put three of my sparkling waters in here, just in case, you know. I get thirsty I don't know I just wanted to be prepared because I know we're gonna be in the same spot for a while um, I don't think I'm bringing my gallon jug today so that's why I did that and then I also have my tea right here my tea me tumbler I'm drinking mango ginger today and let me read y'all what my tea bags say because one of them I already posted it on Instagram so one of them says balance of head and heart yields strength of character and then the one that I posted says even a journey of a thousand miles starts with the first step all right so it's 10 36 now so i'm all packed up i think i'm gonna go ahead and start making my way so that i can take my time i think we're supposed to be meeting at 11 30 or 12 but i'm gonna go ahead and get a head start because I got inventory to carry inside. I gotta go to my mailbox. There might be traffic. Who knows what's gonna happen? So I'm like, girl, just go get a head start and get stuff situated. Um, I could be working on getting the orders that we're gonna do today ready to go. So I will see y'all later. Y'all, seriously though, like it is so hot outside. I had to really just like collect myself, okay, before I could start filming. Y'all, one of my lights is out. Like, <sighs> this is real life, okay? Light bulbs blow out. We waiting for them to come fix it, whatever. But um, yeah, it's hot outside, okay? So I'm like, y'all wonder why I'm always in a tube top 
Because it's 80 degrees outside at 10 o'clock in the morning. Like, what the heck? So, I literally got here a little while ago. Um, I started unpacking some of the inventory and then I just worked on one order. So I just finished one order. That was great. So I was like, let me just stop and see if my tea is ready for me because I'll be having to do this whole cool down process before I can even drink my tea. Like I could never drink my tea before I leave the house because it's just too hot outside. It's just too hot. So I would be overheating and doing all this extra stuff. But I'm feeling really good right now. Like I got one order done. I got one order prepped over here. My mom is almost here, so we are about to rock and roll. This is my um, mango ginger tea that I'm drinking today, and it is like, oh my God, I haven't had it in a few days. It's giving what it needed to have gave, okay? I just wanted to update y'all because I'm here. We're working. We're getting stuff done. Praise God for air conditioner, okay? Because there was a point in time my air conditioner in my car was acting up and we were just able to get that fixed. Oh my gosh, shout out to my parents because what the heck? air conditioner is fixed and i am so grateful because i just cannot even imagine like it got fixed like right right in time i swear to you it was like right on time if it would have had to wait any longer i would have been in 90 degree weather with no air conditioner and i would have been so sad so yes you guys we are here i got some pigments here y'all tkb is like out of stock on a lot of stuff unfortunately so yeah it was a little scary a little a little sketchy like y'all know we don't order these little bags no more but that was all they had so i had to order a bunch of these little things and then a bunch of these little things when i'm used to ordering this big old thing so i'm sitting here like tkb what do y'all got going on we need our pigments but at least i was able to get what i needed so i'm grateful for that but usually you know how we do we like to order stuff in bulk and that is not what happened today so yeah i mean it just is what it is oh well we got what we need for the time being i'm just gonna have to keep my eye on it and you know make sure that i'm able to stock up on the um the big stuff <laughs> soon yeah y'all i'm here i'm blogging on my phone because i left the camera at home because i just could not carry all that stuff i had to carry so much inventory this is real life oh let me update y'all because i think i did tell y'all that i had an issue with my shipment from my vendor so she did contact me back and she is sending me replacements that are actually correct so i'm like thank you sis because i don't have time okay i really don't have time like I need y'all to fix my tubes, okay? I need y'all to fix my stuff. Like, I cannot have a whole shipment of damaged inventory. That doesn't make sense. So, she is getting it together, all right? Because nobody has time at all. Ooh! Oh, this is cute. My glitter vendor sent me some samples. Look at these. This is calling my name. I think I already have this one. I think this is Queen Tings. It looks very much like Queen Tings. And then y'all haven't asked me about red glitter. So I had asked for a sample of red glitter. And then there's a yellow one in here too. Okay, we might have some new glitters on the way. Stop playing with her. Y'all asking for new glitters. I'm trying to give y'all what y'all want, okay? All right, y'all. So, yeah, I got what I need. Praise God. So, um, what else do I need to be working on? Oh, I need to post my promo because I never did that. So, I'm about to do that. And then um, post on social media in general. I posted earlier, but I need to post some more. Y'all got to make sure y'all posting, like, multiple, multiple times a day. I don't care what nobody say. Y'all better post. I'm trying to multitask. Oh, I don't got no wig on, y'all. I'm bald headed. But I got my my food from Eat Clean, bro. Ooh, it looks good. It tastes good too. This rice is pretty good. Don't sound good. Mhm. Mm I'm on the phone with Sierra, y'all. Hey. Mm -hmm. This is the bag that it came in. Let me get into the salmon and see what that's talking about. And that's gonna be the true test right there. If we can get the flavor of the salmon right. <laughs> okay. Mm. Hold on, let me put it back in the microwave. Okay, I'm feeling it. 
I'm feeling it. That's good. Mm. The salmon is good. My camera's still dying from earlier. That's really stupid. Good morning. So I wanted to start off today with talking to y'all about this meal service, Eat Clean Bro, because listen, all right, I told y'all about this yesterday and I ate my whole meal yesterday, y'all, and it was really, really good. I actually really liked it. So I definitely wanted to come on here and talk to y'all about it today because that's what I'm eating today as well. So y'all know yesterday I had the salmon. Today I'm having honey barbecue chicken. I actually started eating this last night, y'all. Like, I can't even lie to y'all. I already started eating this last night. I just warmed it up, so it's hot. Yeah, y'all know we had Tipsy Thursday. I had kind of ate my first meal at like a weird time because I got home around like five so i was hungry because i only ate one time so yeah i was like let me go ahead and eat something so i ate that first meal so by the time tipsy thursday was coming to an end i was hungry again because i didn't really eat that much so i started eating this so this is honey barbecue chicken so a shredded chicken with the barbecue sauce and then um, I got mashed sweet potatoes and then also asparagus. So yeah, and I really love that they put the expiration date on here. Like, well, you know, best buy type of thing, just so that I can know. I mean, my life is so busy, so chaotic. Um, I had to order five meals at a time, but they're only single servings. So I feel like I could order more, you know, for a few days if they're going to last that long um, so that I can eat, you know, every single day like three meals a day <laughs> that's kind of like my goal so i feel like i could order more meals at a time if i wanted to but i really don't have to because they deliver frequently throughout the week so i can kind of you know order i can be strategic about when i order so that when the food comes you know it's as fresh as possible so they make all their food fresh that day whatever and i think that's really good so yeah let me show y'all this food i mean I started going in on it already, like I told y'all, but it was actually really good. So I'm about to eat this right now. This is going to be my little light breakfast type of thing. It's like 1130. They do have some breakfast options, but I just like to eat at like 11 a.m. So I'm like around 11, I can eat lunch food. Like I'm not really craving to have any type of breakfast food. Like it's not really that serious for me. So I'm about to eat this and then I'll have um, two of my other meals that I have in the fridge for later. So I just think that this is great. I don't have to cook. I don't have to go grocery shopping. I don't have to do anything. So yeah, and it tastes good. So <laughs> I was like, it's just imperative for me that it's gonna taste good because I don't wanna be like trying to force myself to eat something. But the chicken is really good. The sauce is good. I love sweet potatoes. I love regular potatoes. Y'all know I love potatoes. So I'm, I'm happy, okay? But I just wanted to share this with y'all. It is local, so it's in the Atlanta area. And then also they have a location in New Jersey which I thought was super crazy because I'm like, oh my God, I come from Jersey. So I have kind of like an audience in both states where they are available, but I think they're only available in certain areas. So when you go to the site, I'll have the site link down below. When you go to the site, you put your zip code in and it'll tell you if they're servicing your area or not. But also they have a pickup location. So if they're not servicing you for delivery, but you're still in that state and maybe you're close to the facility or you don't mind driving or whatever the case may be, you can still go pick it up. I know they have a pickup option for Atlanta. I'm not sure about New Jersey, but yeah, you guys, these are the meals. I'm gonna see how the rest of the meals go. I'm feeling really good about it, feeling like I can keep this up. I am an affiliate for them now. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So after I tried the first meal, I went ahead and you know confirmed that I was gonna work with them because I just wanted to make sure that the food was gonna be good and it was gonna fit you know my lifestyle before I kind of like tried to tell y'all to go try it too. So I am an affiliate for them now. You can get 10% off your first order with my link down below and my discount code. So I will have all the information linked down below, but y'all, I'm about to eat this because your girl is hungry. I just need to give y'all a solid look at what I'm looking like because your girl is looking crazy, okay? My hair is looking real crazy, but we about to get that all the way together. I don't have time, okay? This color is so much maintenance because my hair grows so fast and so my roots are dark so soon like mm, it's really annoying i'm not gonna lie to y'all <laughs> i just love how it looks when it's fresh so i just can't convince myself to go back yet like i'm not ready to go back to dark hair yet i don't know all i do know is that i'm tired of looking dusty within a week or two and i'm using my teamy tumbler as you can see so i'm just drinking my water cute okay Wow, um, I'm back. 
I have been having a day you guys it's three o'clock so i'm finally up i'm showered i washed my hair i know my color is looking real dusty but my hair has been so dirty and i just was like look i need to at least wash it you know like i don't know when i'm gonna dye it i don't know when i'm gonna do my hair i don't know what's gonna happen but at least i will feel better if my hair was clean right so i'm showered i'm alive um i made me some tea some stress relief tea because you guys i'm really going through it and I just wanted to say, you know, if you're going through something, you are not the only one, okay? I just wanted to let that be known. I have been feeling really anxious today, like just, I'm feeling just not good. Like today's not a good mental health day and I'm okay with that. You know, every day is not gonna be a good day. I feel like I've been trying to kind of power through, power through, power through, because I just have so much to do, but that's just not healthy. <laughs> And I, I preach to you guys all the time, like to take care of yourselves and everything. And I, I really just, I gotta take care of myself. So I'm, I'm trying, I'm doing my best. I'm not really feeling like engaging in any of the activities that have been presented to me for today or tomorrow. Tea is definitely helping me right now. I've been watching some really inspiring videos on YouTube. I actually just watched the Vogue and Kendall Jenner series, the series about her anxiety where she just talks about you know how she deals with anxiety and they just give you know just tips in general for people that are struggling with the same thing that she is it was just good i love how lighthearted it was how upbeat it was still talking about something so you know real but not really making it a sad thing or you know making it have this negative connotation just kind of like making anyone watching it feel like it was a safe space and a comfortable space so i actually really liked it they were super short and sweet straight to the point there's four episodes up right now so i kind of just like watched all of them life is really happening right now to all of us so don't feel like you know you can't let those feelings out because they're real and i wanted to show you guys what my tea bags are telling me right now because i just know like it can't be a coincidence that i was having a meltdown I was like running to my stress relief tea, running to take a shower and kind of just like wash away everything and just try to feel better. And then when I got to my tea bags, I was just like, every time, it's like on the head every single time, like it does not miss a beat. So let me just show, let me just show y'all. I can show y'all better than I can tell y'all. So here are my tea bags. Be kind to yourself. Let your energy be used to build and not destroy. If that's not some tea for today, I don't know what is. Uh, that just like gave me even more confirmation. I just, I need to try to get my routine together. That's Jacob at the door, so let me go let him in. Good morning. So today's Saturday, y'all. It is like almost 10 o'clock. 9.42, so I am feeling much better today. Okay, I am dressed, as you can see, got my wig on, everything. I'm about to go meet my cousin for brunch. So, I just wanted to show y'all my outfit. This is like my go-to going out outfit right now. I don't know, it's just like the cutest thing, I feel like. So let me show y'all, well, let me try to show y'all at least. Cause um, my room is a hot mess, all right, but I have on this set from Pretty Little Thing, so it's like this skirt and blazer set. Please ignore, ignore my crazy room, all right? And then I just have on my Steve Madden shoulder bag, it's so cute. And then I'm just wearing my basic black crop top. This is from Bel Air & Co. And then my shoes are from Ego, of course. So yeah, hopefully, y'all see my laundry on the floor that I gotta fold up mind your business so hopefully y'all can see me because i know i'm gonna be backlit now with my mirror here so that's why i can't wait to like put my curtains there so that y'all can actually see but um yeah i'm gonna start showing y'all my ootds but you know my room will be clean in the future because i won't just throw my laundry my clean laundry on the floor i'll actually fold it up you know what i'm saying so my ego shoes ego affiliate let me get out of here all right see y'all later um i'm not gonna bring the camera because i really don't have anywhere to put it especially with this bag and i haven't seen my cousin in a very long time so i'm not really assuming that she's gonna want to be on camera but if so i'll just vlog on my phone for you guys i mean my guest bathroom is providing a better look at my freaking outfit people so here we are like I said, this set is from 
pretty little thing. I think it's super cute, you know. This is my color scheme, but it's really the bag for me, okay? The bag is bringing all the drama. Got my Crown Royal Extensions Bob on, and I revived it this morning. Wet it down, put some product, but it's really the bag for me. So I was just gonna wear my other bag that I always wear, my Karl Lagerfeld bag, but I was like, no, because you always wear that bag, sis, and you switch it up. And then my boots are just black platform boots so it's giving me very schoolgirl, but edgy with a twist you know all right so this is like my go-to outfit to go out on and have a wash on of course y'all i'm really feeling like i want to look for a nail salon today but then today is saturday so <sighs> i don't know because i just don't want to be out the house tomorrow i want to try a new nail salon though because i'm really tired of my nails looking like this i'm heading out now oh y'all praise god i was able to find some freaking gas okay Listen, I'm sitting here like, Kroger had no gas. I usually get my gas from Kroger because my Kroger Plus card and I had to go to Kroger anyway to pick something up. So I'm like, oh, it'll be great. Yesterday, Kroger had gas. Me and Jacob literally was at Kroger yesterday and was about to get gas, but we decided not to. And we were in Jacob's car. So if I was in my car, I would have gassed up yesterday because I knew today I was going to be needing to go somewhere. And I didn't want to be having my cousin thinking I'm coming. And then all of a sudden I'm like, actually, I can't find gas. Like I was not about to circle the block looking for gas today. Cause I wasn't about to waste all my gas looking for gas. So no, but praise God, I was able to gas up. So now I'm about to head to her. I'm about to go pick her up and we're gonna go have lunch, brunch, whatever. So the day is starting off pretty well. Hold on, because my lace is doing something crazy. Y'all, I do not be gluing my wigs down, if y'all couldn't tell. So, I just be trying to make sure that little piece up there is laying flat. I'm feeling good today. I feel like I look cute. I feel like I'm put together and I'm doing something. So, I feel productive and good. Like, I feel like I'm having a good time, you know. So, I'll see you guys in a little bit, hopefully. I'll probably, like, vlog my food and stuff and show y'all. Because I've never been to this place. So, I'm excited. Ooh, it do look good. For real, it look good. <laughs> Tattoo shop. Don't be sad. Go get a tattoo. Ah, don't be sad. Go get a tattoo. All right, y'all see it. It's here. Artist lit, oh, yeah. he lit, sketch is lit. Okay, <laughs> he did that. He did it. <laughs> Good morning, happy Sunday. So, I'm up early, y'all. I thought I was gonna sleep in because I was so tired last night. Like, y'all could probably tell I was so tired. I thought I was gonna sleep in, but I woke up at 9 30. Okay. No alarm set, no nothing, and I just kind of took my time, got up, did my affirmations, prayed, went in the bathroom, took care of my tattoo, and made me some tea, brushed my teeth, floss, all of that, okay, skin, come on, you know, we gotta, we gotta take care of ourselves, and then, um, yeah, I'm about to drink my tea. It's 1045 right now, and I'm about to go to the nail shop, y'all, like, I, I can't, I can't do this anymore, I just really can't, like, I'm on the schedule today because I told myself today was my day, okay? And if I don't do this today, it's not getting done, okay? Because the rest of this week is going to be crazy. So, I am taking it upon myself today to go to the nail shop, all right? And hopefully, this is going to be a good experience. Like, I'm going to get something super simple because I just, I have not found a nail tech that has made me feel comfortable with anything crazy or intricate like how I would usually like. 
so yeah i'm thinking i'm gonna get a new set because this is done and then i really want to get a pedicure as well so i'm hoping that it's gonna go well and it's only 10 45 and this place is not far so i'm feeling like i'm gonna be one of the first people there if not the first person there because literally like it's a holiday weekend so i don't know i just don't have time to be in the nail shop all day because i have to come back and get some stuff done so i'll you know update y'all when i get back hopefully like i said it's gonna be a great experience i'm speaking it into existence now it's gonna be great y'all let me just update y'all now because oh my lord so my nail tech did an amazing job ah! my nails are so bomb i'm gonna let y'all see them once they are not crusty and dusty like i got all the little you know the little crusty things on the side so once i get all this off and put some lotion on because i am ashy i'm gonna show y'all for real but she did a great job on my nails and my toes and now i am at um the hookah shop so hey y'all so today is tuesday it is like what 6 30 6 40. so yeah i have not even picked up this camera i did not really vlog yesterday was memorial day so i was at my parents house i'll insert some clips of the food you know we're drinking eating just having a good time nothing crazy nothing special so that's what i was doing yesterday and today i have just been working all day like i don't know my body is just like I don't know what's going on because I'll be waking up at 8 o'clock on a dot now these past couple of days. So I don't know if this is going to be like a normal thing. But I've been up since 8 and I've been working since about 8.30. I just got up and like got straight to work. So I've been working literally all day. I was working on mentorship stuff. My mentorship program starts this weekend. Like our first call is this weekend. So I'm really excited about it. It's my first month doing it. So I'm excited to meet my mentees. I'm really, you know, grateful that people signed up. So I have some people that are in the program. I had to edit a video. I had to film another clip for a video and I had to film another separate video because I'm working on a new business venture and y'all know how I am. I like to kind of vlog the whole process. So I have a new business happening in the works oh my god yes spoiler alert new business on the way and i got my sample inventory in today so i did an unboxing i was filming that video and then you know now i have to like test out a few things so i'm just making me some dinner right now because i need to eat something i finished editing the video that i needed to edit so it's currently uploading i'm making food in the air fryer so y'all could probably hear that in the back this video is talking about it's taking two hours and 16 minutes to upload it started at 252 but i really hate when my computers do this it's just like it decides when it wants to have a fast upload and when it don't want to have a fast upload probably something to do with the internet or something i don't know but it's really annoying when i want to get a video up by a certain time and i just be pressing my luck to see if it's gonna upload quick or not quick like i don't know but anyways y'all i need to go ahead and end this video because i feel like this vlog has been prolonged like prolonged 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 oh i'm just not realizing that i didn't show y'all my nails wow hold on so here are my nails i actually love them they're like perfectly imperfect you know the lines are not super super i mean it looks pretty sharp but in person you can see like little imperfections but it doesn't even matter it's like super cute so i went back to my long claws you guys and i'm gonna continue going back to this girl that i went to because she did a flawless job on my toes white toes white toe gang but she also did a really good job on my nails too i love them so much make sure you go check out my new instagram post because they have a little feature i also don't think i gave y'all a good look at my tattoo either so hopefully hopefully y'all can see from this angle right here my sunflower ah! oh my lord is it focusing because baby girl you know the camera she likes to play wait let's see there we go so you can see it better here it's kind of hard for me to show it to you without having the camera on an actual tripod but i'm freaking obsessed with it okay i'm obsessed i need to end the vlog because i need to edit these vlogs like this is getting really out of control <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna end the video here i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys have been enjoying the vlogs make sure you give this video a thumbs up make sure you subscribe to my channel down below and i will see y'all in my next video